a direct hit. Port engines failing. Tiger, give up this madness. We're no match for her this time. No, Mary, we can win this. This time we're seeing it through to the end. We're being hailed. It's Zelda. Give up, Earth. Come. This time, victory is unquestionably mine. Oh, mine! <laughs> Report! What happened? A spaceship. It just... blew up. Are you sure? Confirmed. All instruments indicate that her craft has been destroyed. Check again. Checked. And double-checked. There are no survivors. What was the cause? Instruments give no indication. I don't believe it. I want her found. Accept it, Tiger. Zelda is dead. It seems the war is over. Terrahawks, stay on this channel. This is an emergency. is just in time with a newsflash. We have reports just coming in that Zelda, Queen of the Planet Guck, has died age 180. Details of her passing are still sketchy, but leaders from across the universe have been lining up to pay tribute to this divisive figure. Zelda's controversial right to die scheme, in which not all the participants were volunteers, has come to be seen as representative of her long and troubled time in office. You wanted to see me, sir? Yes, I did. Anything to report? No, sir. Same as ten minutes ago. And ten minutes before that. And ten minutes before that, sir. That's enough, Sergeant Major. It doesn't matter if I ask you one or one hundred times. You're just a machine, and you're here to serve. Understood? Yes, sir. Now go fetch me another report. He's right, you know. What are you hoping to find out? I don't know. Something. Anything. What else are we supposed to do? Pop the champagne and retire? Well, why not? Why not? Because the Earth needs us to keep it safe. With Zelda gone, maybe that's not the case anymore. I know this will be hard for you, of all people, to accept, but I think the mission is over. I didn't want to tell you this before, but we've had a communique from the top brass. They want to call a meeting to discuss the future of the Terra Hawk program. You mean they want to decommission us? Well, nobody is saying that. Yet. But it's just what Zelda would want. Why, Zelda? Being of unsound and insane mind, Hereby record my last will and testament. It is my wish that my beloved family be gathered together for this reading and that they should take comfort in the fact that even in death, I, Zelda, hold ultimate power and that their fates continue 
to rest in the palm of my hand. That is what she thinks. Now, to business. The division of my worldly goods and the details of the succession of my vast empire. I just want my mommy back. <laughs> to my dear, dear little boy, young star, I bequeath my grandmother's secret recipe for granite crunches with their finger-licking blend of herbs and spices. Ooh, granite crunch. She's my favorite. Goody, goody, goody. To sister, I leave the burden of taking care of that cretin young star. Oh. Ah, and now to the only member of the family who actually met us. And to my dear little grandson, it's star. I leave the bulk. Here we go, here we go. Of my outstanding debts. I'm afraid your granny liked to have her little flatter on the GGs every now and then. <laughs> this is an outrage. And now, to important people. Given the demonstrably deficient state of my family unit, it has become clear to me that only a person who has proven themselves worthy by vanquishing me upon the battlefield is fit to inherit my considerable wealth and power. Therefore, I bequeath the bulk of my estate nine, nine. to the accursed clone, Neinstein. It is my sincerest hope that from this day forth Every victory the clone enjoys will be tainted by the knowledge that he owes everything to me! <laughs> to me! <laughs> if she wasn't dead, I'd kill her! I just don't believe it. You better believe it, sir. It's her official communication. I'll choose what I do and do not believe, Sergeant Major Zero. Even from beyond the grave, Zelda wouldn't make this kind of move without there being a catch. Well, you see, I was just getting to that, sir. Should I go on? Go ahead. <laughs> In order to collect upon this prize, the wretched Doug Einstein must first... Paraphrasing would be quite sufficient, Sergeant. <coughs> oh, yes, sir. Uh, sorry, sir. It says, you are, that in order to claim the inheritance, you must first travel to Mars to attend Zelda's memorial and ahem, give a eulogy. You have got to be kidding me. Don't shoot the messenger, sir. Get out, Zero. Yes, sir. May I come in? Sure. I could use someone to talk to. So, I take it you've heard the news? Yep. Penny for your thoughts. It's a difficult one, Mary. But if Zelda is gone, then I don't want her technology falling into the hands of the wrong people. We have no choice but to go. And give the eulogy? Over my dead body. If you go to Mars, that could be very likely. I thought you were the one who said it was all over. That was before the invitation. Zelda might well be dead, Tiger, but her family are quite probably planning one last sting in the tail. Why else would they invite you to their home turf? And you know, if there's one thing you've taught me... It's to expect the unexpected. Now then, everybody, chop chop into line. Hmm. Now that my dear grandmother has departed, I am in charge. I am so proud. My son, the dictator. Wonderful. I don't see why he gets to be the leader. I'm the eldest. It is perfectly simple, mine uncle. Uh, what you have accumulated in years, you have unfortunately not matched in brain cells. I don't understand. <laughs> Let me put it this way. A 
It's what Granny would have wanted, Uncle Youngstar. You can't get around me with that voice. Okay. In short, you are a nincompoop. Oh, thank you. So, to business. I think that we would all agree that Grandmother's desire to see our rightful inheritance passed into the hands of Earth Scum Einstein is an abomination that must be prevented. I'll say. It seems clear to me that my grandmother's mind was going a little rusty in the later years. However, I think that we would also agree that to defy her direct instructions, even in death, would be to risk her wrath. It is my suggestion, then, that we follow the directions of her memorial to the letter. And just hand everything over to the dear hawks? Yeah, my mother. Just as dear grandmother wished. And then, when he has received his inheritance, boom! Boom! Yes, Uncle Youngstar! Boom! And then we will be free to claim what is rightfully ours. <laughs> Evil, manipulative old hag. I beg your pardon? Not you, Mary. Zelda. Oh, so you've decided to write the eulogy then? Just a precaution. And that's the tone you intend to strike? Strikes me as the honest truth. But... I know what you're going to say, Mary. Why can't we all just get along? Well, why can't we? You've won. Can't you just be happy about that and use this as an opportunity to move on? There's no use in stewing over your hatred of Zelda when you have her relatives to worry about. I just think, as it's a funeral, we should act with some decorum. Mary, you make me want to be a better man. But you know, I speak as I find. And if we're going to claim your inheritance and get out of that place alive, we're going to have to play the game. It has now been five days since the passing of Queen Zelda of Guck was announced, and preparations for her state funeral continue apace. In order to gauge public reaction to this momentous news, our reporters took to the streets. Uh, excuse me, sir. What was your reaction to the passing of Zelda of Guck? Yeah, well, I mean, she was good, weren't she? Uh, I liked her policies, yeah. You mean her policy of disintegrating any living creature that stood in her way? Well, I mean, it's tough at the top, isn't it? You can't afford to be soft, can you? What do you think will be Zelda's legacy? Well, yeah, she was like, you know, first woman dictator from another planet, wasn't she? But she made a lot of people unhappy. Well, there you have it. Remember, you can keep up with our minute-to-minute -minute coverage of Zelda's continued state of not being alive here on TV21. It should be classical. No, it should be pop. But she was so dignified and respected. Classical. She was the queen of hearts. It should be a pop ballad. What is all this noise? We're trying to decide what Zelda would like played as her last song. That is entirely unimportant. Besides, the choice is obvious. Oh, is it a pop song? No, it must be classical. Show some respect. At this very moment, a casket containing grandmother's remains is being placed in the Great Hall. Even in death, my grandmother has been meticulous and conniving in her planning. The delivery of the casket also came with a note. Oh, is it for me? So let me check. Now, I do not see the word more unwritten anywhere on the envelope. What a shame. As if to prove she was going soft in the head, it transpires that one of Grandmother's final wishes was for her remains to be taken by the Terror Hawks for burial in the grounds of Hawknest. It is another of the conditions Einstein must meet before receiving his inheritance. But I wanted to have her stuffed. She looks so lovely on the mantelpiece. Silence, you fool! 
I imagine that there's probably very little left to stuff. More importantly, do you not see that this plays directly into our hands? We now have the perfect means of taking out Neinstein. For me? Not quite, my uncle. <laughs> Let me explain. As androids, we are made up of a complex series of circuits, and in order for these circuits to handle the strain of maintaining our sentience, they happen to have been coated in superconductive hydrohexidoxide. I don't understand. Oh, what a clever little baby I have! When hydrohexidoxide is exposed to extreme heat, it becomes highly explosive. Yeah, mother. And it is for this reason I suggest that grandmother should be cremated before being handed over to the accursed Towerhawks. She will go out in a second blaze of glory while taking out Einstein in the process. Boom! It's what she would have wanted. There, resplendent yet dignified, you shall turn heads at the memorial service. Oh, do you really think so? I have tried to make an effort. Not you, Space Sergeant 101. I was talking to my flower arrangement. I felt I should prepare something special for momentous occasion. I still can't believe we're going. I wouldn't have believed it myself a few days ago, but the news that Zelda is to be cremated seems only to have served to strengthen Dr. Neinstein's resolve to attend. Why should that matter? Think about it, Space Sergeant. If you were going to spend time in the company of your most deadly foe, wouldn't you prefer that they were a pile of ash? I suppose so. I must confess that I am actually looking forward to our arrival. Well... You do look fabulous in black. Yes, but apart from that, just imagine the splendor and variety of hundreds of flower arrangements brought in tribute from around the galaxy. Perhaps I may encounter a species of plant that even I have never seen. Oh, it's all just work, work, work with you humans. Now, where did I put my bow tie? Okay, great, great. Uh, hi there, and welcome everybody. Uh, hello. Uh, well, uh, today's the big day, isn't it? It is, uh, because uh, Zelda, uh, queen of the planet Guck, uh, invader of Mars and would-be conqueror of Earth, is being laid to rest. And let me tell you, the crowds are going, uh, well, they're going like crazy here, like wild here on the red carpet. Look, look at that one. Uh, right, anyway, I'm Stu Apples, and I'll be your host for this historic and momentous and most solemn occasion. Yeah, it's great. Well, great, it is. It's wow, yeah. Right, so anyway, in years to come, when people ask you where you were during this mega important event, you'll be able to say, well, uh, well, like you were sitting at home like a loser without an invite to the social highlight of the year, right? Yeah, that's you. Anyway, celebrities are piling up to get in and take their seats in the Great Hall, from A-listers like Kate Kestrel, right down to nobody's like, uh... Well, uh, I'm like this guy, this guy right here. Uh, hey, like, um, who are you and uh, why are you here? Dumach. I beg your pardon? Dumach, it's my name, Kent Dumach. Uh, oh, great, well, yippee, well, was splendid, marvellous. Okay, so, Mr. Um, uh, Kent, uh, what brings you here today, man, yeah? Well, I am a founding member of the official Zelda Appreciation Society, and as such, I felt the need to come down here today and personally represent her legions of admirers. Zelda had, like, a fan club? Oh, yes. Zelda led the way when it came to committing atrocities, and to think she did it all at the same time as being a single parent. She really was quite... Yeah, right, OK, fine, well, whatever, man. But, I, hey, who do I see coming towards me but the one and only the great Dr. Tiger Neinstein? Ah, uh, should I... Um, yeah, yeah, right, thanks, mate. Yeah, uh, out of the way. Uh, Dr. Neinstein, Dr. Neinstein! Uh, tell us, uh, what brings somebody like your good self, sir, Zelda's archenemy, here today? I've come to say good riddance. Oh, 
right. Okay, yeah, well, uh, well bye. I was uh, out of questions anyway. Uh, yeah, I suppose. It's magnificent. Just look at the flower arrangements. And all of these people. Looks rather tacky to me. Trust Zelda to overdo it. Okay, everybody, remember. Be on the alert. <laughs> Listen. Can anybody else hear that? Excuse me, Sergeant Major, but is that you? What? No, no. Uh, just some sort of malfunction with, with the lubricant in my eye mechanism. That's all. You're crying. Watch it, Dad, or I'll have you up on a charge. It just goes to show that it doesn't matter how rich or powerful a person is, we all end up in the same place. The only place I want to see Zelda end up is scattered across the hawk nest compost. Oh, just look at all of the wonderful floral tributes. Weeds, nettles, Venus fly traps. Oh, who put this ugly thing here? It's far too colorful. Yes, yes, give them to me. Where are you taking them? I'm going to put them with the items for Neinstein to collect. Is this really all mummy left behind? No, of course not, you nincompoop. These are merely the items that are not worth keeping for ourselves. If all goes to plan, this whole place will be up in smoke within the hour. Right, all right, okay, here we are again. Here it is, the moment everyone's been waiting for. Finally, after a 250-mile ceremonial procession, here comes Zelda of Guck herself, carried in an ornate coffin adorned with a floral z <laughs> Right, well, here we are, and uh, I think we're ready to go to live coverage of the big event. Uh, yeah, here it is, here it is, the music starting now. Yep, yep, here we go, listen to this, here we go. Okay, mein Uncle, this is your big moment. Two things to remember. Number one, don't panic. Number two, if you mess this up, I will destroy you. Oh dear. Oh dear. <coughs> Excuse me. Excuse me. I said... Excuse me. Shut up! Please continue, Uncle. Um, 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 thank you, everybody, for coming to attend the funeral of my beautiful mother. I hadn't planned to do this, but I'd like to read a little poem. It's called... My Mummy by Youngster. What are you doing? We don't have time for this. <coughs> Stop all the time pieces. Cut off the subspace communication device. Prevent that stupid dog from barking by cutting off a slice. Silence the pianos and oh yes. Please switch off all of your portable electronic devices. Mummy would hate to have her big day interrupted. Yes, by yes, a... yes. Thank you. A big round of applause for mine uncle, Peter. Bye bye. And now we have a few words from one of the Earth scum. <clears throat> Thank you. Uh, when I was first asked to say a few words at the funeral of Queen Zelda of Guck, I thought, no way. But I soon realized that this was my chance to really do her justice. Zelda was, without a doubt, the most villainous, despicable, and downright loathsome individual I have ever had the misfortune to meet. She never committed a single act for the benefit of anyone but herself, and her continued existence made the world, no, the universe, a worse place. Oh, 
Hero, this is exactly what I advised him against. We're in big trouble now. I wouldn't be so sure, Captain. Take a look at the front row. I never knew he cared. In conclusion, I for one am glad to see the back of Zelda and feel safe in the knowledge that the universe is a better, happier place without her. Thank you. That went down tremendously well. How did you know? Mary, I realized that I had to be cruel to be kind. Now then, ladies, gentlemen, und ihr scum, please pray silence for the interment of main grandmother's casket. In accordance with her wishes, her final voyage will be accompanied by one of her old favorites. Play the recording! Released from life's great burden. Good grief. To my foes who live in fear. Just in case you're still uncertain. There is no life I wouldn't call. I burned each and every intergalactic highway. And more. Listen to this. I did it. Exactly the way I wanted! And there's nothing you insignificant wretches could do about it! <laughs> Soon, in accordance with her wishes, we shall hand my grandmother's remains to Einstein. And in doing so, we shall have passed her estate to him. Ashes to ashes, rust to rust. But first, the cremation. Gentlemen, the torches. I'm to make a discreet gathering, my family. We shall return later to pick up the pieces. <laughs> Goodbye, mommy. <laughs> What's that noise? What noise? Can't you hear it? Listen. It's coming from the coffin, sir. Let me out, you cretins. I'm smoldering. She's still alive. I had my suspicions. What do we do now? Well, Mary, if you can't stand the heat, get out of the crematorium. I'll be glad to, sir. This is starting to give me the heebie-jeebies. Right. But I'm not leaving empty-handed. Sergeant Major, I've got a job for you. Open this lid at once! I'm melting! What is all this commotion? Hear some respect? Sit down and embrace your doom! Get me out of here, you blundering idiot! Uh-oh. <laughs> hot, hot, hot! What is the meaning of this? What? We thought you were dead! You idiots! Then why were you in a coffin? Because I was supposed to be taken back to the secret lair of the accursed Tenorhawks, you fools! Who is responsible for this? It was Uncle Youngstar, Grandmama. He's the oldest, so he's the leader. <laughs> okay, everybody, set course for home. I've had enough of this farce. Ten ten! You knew that she was alive all along, didn't you? Deep down? Like I said, I had my suspicions. But what tipped you off? Think about it. If Zelda had made that video will before she died, how could she have known for sure that I would be the one who vanquished her? 
If I hadn't, her whole estate would have been thrown into a legal limbo. And remember, she famously hates solicitors. I see. Well, that was a waste of time. Not quite, Mary. Before we left, I instructed the Xeroids to gather together some of the items that I was supposedly going to inherit. Are they actually worth anything? I have no idea. Sergeant Major Zero, report. Uh, yes, sir. Uh, Space Sergeant 101 has compiled the inventory, sir. Go ahead. Okay, everybody. Sit tight, because here we go. Could you start the conveyor belt, ma'am? Oh, um, yes. Here we are. A collection of used dinner plates. Well, that doesn't bode well. One dartboard with Einstein's effigy. That conniving old... One washing machine. Broken. A cuddly toy. Ooh! And finally, some old plant. Hold on a moment, Space Sergeant 101. Let me see that. You know, I should have predicted that this would get his heart racing. Commander, this is astounding. Is it? Oh, yes. This happens to be the Puncherian Snapdragon. Aren't you, my dear? Never would I have dreamt to see one in person. Well, it seems we came away with something. Hmm, I wonder if ending up with the bouquet means the same thing at funerals as it does in weddings. That I am going to get married? No. You're next. Having received many tributes following her sudden death, the revelation that Zelda, Queen of the Planet Guck, had in fact faked her own demise has seen her opinion polls plummet. Say what you like about slaughtering thousands in the pursuit of your own goals, it's tough at the top, isn't it? But faking your own death, that's just not on, is it? I mean, they cancelled a footy just to show her funeral, didn't it? Zelda, Zelda, Zelda! Out, out, out! Zelda, Zelda, Zelda! Out, out, out! Gave away my dishwasher? Well, we had to give Einstein something. Never mind, dear. From now on, I shall dispose of my dirty dishes by throwing them at your head. Ow! You know, this reminds me of an old earth thing. Oh, forgive and forget. No, where's there's a will? Your family will get in the way! Big finish. We love stories. Especially the ones where you die horribly, Earth scum. It's been nearly 30 months since any attack from Mars. Feels more like 30 years. I hate it when things are this quiet. You never know what her upstairs has planned for you. Run, run the garden like a teddy bear. What are you doing? Terrahawks, stay on this channel. This is an emergency. Now we've got a chance to prove that we're vital to Earth's defenses. Sir, a fleet of Zeefs is approaching Earth at high speed. Open fire. 
I shall find their base and I shall destroy Teradox. Silly old Brownstone. This is a pickle. In there, lad. Anyway, a worrying number of Zonga customers are turning up dead in suspicious circumstances. We are absolutely raking in the Wonga. Evil, manipulative old hag. Not at all. I like him, a char lady. That's no lady. That's Zelda. Oh dear mother, they're making fun of you. I am not amused. Victory will be ours. Expect. The unexpected. Subscribers get mauled at Big Finish. <laughs>